Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the Squad Battles Master. No, I'm just joking. I am currently in the top 100, top 20 to be exact, boys. And it's looking like I will stay there until the end of the day. I told you all that this year my main goal is to be a top 100 player. And this is my chance. On the road to Ronaldo's account, we are going for top 100. If possible, I would love to get into the top 10. But if we stay where we are, we will get 250k packs, rare players packs, and then one jumbo rare players pack, which is a 100k pack, and 75,000 coins. Alone, the 75,000 coins is insane for me. But top 100, man, it was a dream of me for such a long time. And it seems like we will be doing it, boys. And for that... Can we smash 1,500 likes? That would be insane, guys. Thank you so much for the support on a Road to Ronaldo series right now. I've never been this much into a Road to Glory. Obviously, I'm new to the Ultimate Team stuff. I'm new to the training. Uh, uh, to the training. I'm new to just trying to save coins everywhere. I will learn, but that only works out if you guys help me in the comments down below. Now, today, there is a couple of things that we will talk about because... I am getting my Foot Champions rewards. So now, we will be getting Foot Champions rewards into our club. First of all, I think I got gold 2? Yes, I did. That is normally what I go for um, in the last year as well. I had 8 games still ahead of me and decided not to play them. I could have gotten to 25 victories, but I was like, nah, I'm not even gonna stress out. And I think it was the right decision, because otherwise I would have maybe been too pissed and not played Weekend League in the next week, which actually is happening because I'm going to Germany right now as you're watching this video. I am in Germany, but um, we are getting ourselves one rare gold pack, two rare mega packs and 45,000 coins. That is huge. For a Road to Glory series, I think that is amazing. And hopefully, man, we get lucky and pack something incredible. Because, as you guys might know, there is an incredible team of the week out there. With Gabriel Jesus. I want him. I want him so bad. This guy right here. Gabriel Jesus. Look at these statistics. I already love his normal card, which I'm using for my squad battles matches. I think this card would be devastating for the defense of my opponent. Uh, obviously, I would also take a Sterling or a Thiago or a De Gea to make some coins. That would be great. But after all, after selling everyone, I think I would just go for that Gabriel Jesus in form. Now, let's get into this one. I'll be opening these packs. Wish me luck, boys. <sighs> I can't wait. This is the first time we're opening for Champions Rewards. And hopefully, we can get some decent players. I would love to make at least 50k coins profit from these packs right here so let's do it wish me luck boys on three you smash the like i open the pack okay let's do it one two three here we go <sighs> i'm excited i'm excited and i'm not getting my cappy on the right way yep this is a perfect start this is a perfect start <laughs> completely butchered that pack Ochoa, but that's not too bad since it is only a rare gold pack so we shouldn't be expecting too much out of these here do we have a duplicate Rashford in there? No, sadly not. Now on to the more important packs. The rare mega packs. <sighs> please, please. The mega packs from the squ squad battles rewards on Elite 1 have done wonders for me. Wants to watch Sanchez. Wants to watch Aurier. Bye. Every single week I made at least 100k coins by playing squad battles. Now, it's a turn off for champions to prove that it's worth playing. <laughs> Give me something. Give me boards. Wow. Wow, I'm actually, I'm devastated. I am devastated. No boards? In a rare mega pack? No boards? Huh, okay. Ivanovic, Germain, Chalanolu, Carol, Quintero, Mendes. E. That's unfortunate. Okay, last pack. Last pack. Let's focus. Let's focus. All of our energy going into this pack right here. Okay, first few packs were not good. We're backing out, going back in again. Give me something. Give me something, EA. I need to make some coins. Please help me out. Here we go. Rare Mega Pack. Give me boards. Give me boards. Yes, it's boards. Please. 
Colombia. Oh, that's Falcao. That's freaking Falcao. Pereira! Yes! That's a good one! That's quality. Okay, at least we got someone decent that we can keep or sell on. I was thinking about trying him out multiple times, never really got around to doing it. And now we finally packed him, which means that we get to try him out. I will put him into my team straight away, place in my active squad. Herrera will be going down onto the bench. That is a great addition into the club. I was thinking of maybe switching to a 4-3-2-1 formation. And I think it might be worth it, you know. I think it might be worth it because then I could bring in someone like Son and Martial. Play in that formation to start the game off with. Gabriel Jesus up top. I would put Bakayoko in the center. Dembele down the left. Herrera or Mesa down the right hand side of the midfield. And then when the game starts, I would switch it to a 4-1-2-1-2 formation to have Son at Cam. Jesus up top on the left, Martial up top on the right. I think that might be something to consider. I think that might be quite good. Let me know, boys, in the comments down below. Do you think that would be a good idea to switch up the team that is currently about to get us top 100? I mean, this week, I will probably not change it for this squad battles week. But for the next one, I think I might be changing it. And I will need your help. So... In the comments down below, let me know. Actually, no. In the top right corner, as always on my channel, let me know. Should I switch it up to bring in Son and Martial and switch it to a 4-3-2-1 formation? And then when the game starts, switch it back to 4-1-2-1-2 and use all of the qualities that we have in that squad. I think Dele Ali then might still play. I'm not too sure because Roque Mesa, man, I would like to see how he plays in that formation. If he's still that good for me, I will just keep him in the squad. I'm, I'm just being 100% honest. This guy has been the best player for me on Ultimate Team this year. The biggest surprise. And I never expected anything like that. A center midfielder, 89 matches, 29 goals, 36 assists. I I'm not getting that from anyone else. Bakayoko, 140 matches, 3 goals, 19 assists. Dembele. 141 matches, 38 goals, 41 assists. I mean, he's incredible. Everyone knows that. But we are still getting the same amount of statistics from Mesa. And I might be obsessive about this guy, yes. But I think he is the best center defensive midfielder to play against the CPU with. Online, it might be Jeff. It might be different. But offline, against squad battles opponents, this is the perfect guy. A lot of people have been commenting that I should be changing him to a center midfielder. I don't know why, but I'm scared that I might just do something and change his chemistry or just change anything about this card because it's working perfectly for me right now and I don't want to change it at all. So if I do switch over to a 4-3-2-1, we would keep Dembele, we would keep Bakayoko and Mesa. So Dele Ali would drop down but i think that would be stupid because look at these stats 140 matches 104 goals 72 assists i don't know if that would be good so maybe mesa has to drop out of the team so that ali joins in on the right hand side it's tough it's a tough decision to make because right now i'm so happy with my team that i'm not really looking to change anything and that was something that we talked about in the last episode. We talked about investing into wants to watch cards. It was either Yarmolenko, Toliso, or Balde Diao Keita and Bruma. You guys have decided. Let me show you who we are going for. So you guys have decided. And these are the players that we went for. Wants to watch Balde Diao Keita and wants to watch Bruma. I have a lot of faith in these two players to at least get one inform this season. Let's be honest, these guys will definitely get an inform, especially with Bruma. I have high hopes in this guy. He is in the Bundesliga. If he goes up in his statistics, he could be one. Uh, he could be the one and only option down that left hand side for people to go for because he has such amazing stats already. We picked him up for fifty four thousand coins. I think that's quite good. Uh, I think like Aurier was worth around sixty k. So Bruma, when he does get an inform, I think his stats will be looking 
quite good right there. And then Balde Diaw Keita is worth a little bit more. He is a left winger, 82 rated, 68,000 is what we paid for him. High low work rates, 4 star skiller, 4 star weak foot. Definitely someone that I can already use as a substitute in my team. Now the thing is, I think Balde Diaw Keita could be played at striker and stuff like that. Don't, like if he does get an inform in the striker position, does it still go up to like an 84 then and does it switch to position or does it remain a left winger position? As you guys know, I'm a noob at ultimate team, but I'm doing quite fine for only being three weeks in, three weeks into the game. So um, just let me know. I don't think it changes. I think I have never seen that. I think he just goes up to an 84 rated left winger. But just to make sure, let me know in the comments down below. So we have invested right now and we still have around... 129,000 coins left in our team and that is still a huge amount now I was thinking Herrera now joined into our team I wanted to bring in Ericsson but then I thought okay we just got Herrera let's give him a shot let's let's try him out let's see how he plays for our team if he is quality if he can replace my beloved Mesa um we will see okay I will put Mesa down onto the bench Fabinho has to go and uh, we will give Herrera a chance. I think he might do well, but um, yeah, I, I just hate putting players down onto the bench or away from the squad that have been doing so well. So Herrera now takes over. Let's see how he does for our team. If he's not good enough, I think I can sell him on for how much. Let's take a look at it, uh, compare his price. He still goes for around 30k. Oh, 20k. All right, 20k. That, that's still all right. That's still all right. That's a decent amount, so if he is not doing too well, we will just sell him on and bring in Roque Mesa once again. The man, the myth, Roque Mesa. Seems like everyone has already sniped that Gabriel Jesus card. He's completely wiped out from the market. Everyone that puts him down uh, below 500k, they just get bought straight away. And man, I would love to get him into the team, man. Gabriel Jesus is probably the main guy until we get Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo, into the team. And I think it fits the series just perfectly because he, he could be the next Ronaldo for Brazil. Who knows? He could be that next Ronaldo for the nation. So far, he looks like an incredible player in real life. And he, I think he will get just continuously get himself in forms. And he will just go up, go up, go up. And at the end of the year, I think his highest rated in form will be worth around 1.4 million or something. Because he is just insane. And he will just keep on scoring. The way Aguero plays at the moment, he gets injured quite a lot. So uh, you can expect Agu uh, Gabriel Jesus to get a lot more goals maybe. And then we got Thiago in here. How much is he worth? How much is he going for? Because... Yeah, he's not going for that much. A lot of people are not putting that much trust into this Thiago card, which is surprising. I thought that like an 89 rated center midfielder with five star skills would go for a bit more. But that's a disappointing number. 280k. I could have bought him. You know what we'll do right now? We will test out Ander Herrera because right now, online seasons, I think we might be getting into a game and just starting off the online seasons along the way of testing players and doing stuff. We might just do this and try out a few new players. If Ander Herrera is good enough, I will keep him. If he's not good enough, well, I'm sorry. But this is the start to our online seasons throughout the year. Obviously, we will be aiming to get into Division 1 and win that title at some point but right now let's get it started with Herrera hopefully everyone else is fit yep seems like it 88 is just about enough for me let's get this one started and here is my first ever online divisions opponent it is a Premier League team surprise and uh, it has a couple of decent players in there but um, yeah I should be able to beat this one uh, except when this guy is a beast I heard one thing that there is like this dribbling, this new dribbling with L1. I never tried it out. There's now Herrera, the new guy in the team. Can he replace Roque Mesa? Why do I have a blue cursor? Hello? Why do I have a blue cursor? Can someone explain that to me? What a start into his career! Under Herrera! Smacks one in from outside the box in a third minute. Man, if you wanted to impress me, that's the way to do it. 
that is an incredible shot and I don't even have a um, what's it called a chemistry card on this guy and what a start he has made into his career at our club Roque Mesa but obviously he can't replace him with just one game let's be honest here he has to be consistent and this guy knows the technique as well he smacks one onto the crossbar Gabriel Jesus with too much space here this guy's giving me way too much space I I don't know what he's doing in the eighth minute already we scored the second goal of our first match in online seasons sa, 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 yakuza, yakuza. Dembele good tackle Dele Ali, easy shoot mate it's an easy 3-0 Ah, okay. It seems like Herrera is decent going forward, but I haven't seen anything from him going backwards so far. And Roque Mesa does both, even though both of these players do have high, high work rates. I don't really see the point right now. I know he scored an amazing goal, but so far I don't see why I shouldn't sell Herrera and get the 20 coin, 20k coins into my team because I think... Obviously, since Herrera is uh, a worthy player, uh, we could be using those coins more than we could use that uh, Herrera card. I don't know. I I'm still not decided. Let's play this game until the end, see if he does something special defensively. But so far, he has been mostly offensive. We pass it. We pass it again. Dele Ali stops, passes it. Rashford, it should be 4-0. Can you please press that pause button, mate? You're just wasting your time at this point. Rashford, as always, just pure quality. I was thinking maybe to try that uh, striker Zaha. I used him as a striker multiple times so far as a substitute. And he was quite good. Now, if his striker card in form is worth like 100k, I might give him a shot, you know. I think he could be a quality card. Or I might just wait until Marshall reviews, reviews him. And then I get him into the team. But Rashford hasn't disappointed so far. And I don't think he will ever do that. Yeah, now he is leaving. Rage quit incoming boys from Trapstar 1984. 5-0 victory in our first match on online divisions. And I gotta say, Herrera wasn't too bad, you know. He was quite okay. Um, I don't know though if he's worth the amount that we could get for him. When we put Mesa back into the team. Obviously, there is no Road to Ronaldo's episode without a gold upgrade pack. We are hoping every single episode that we could be getting something nice out of these. Obviously, I'm putting all my non-rare gold players into these ones and hoping to finally get something amazing that we can use in our squad. So far, we haven't gotten that lucky. Now, two rare gold players pack. Give me at least boards. We're not getting boards. All right, that is a terrible pack. Or give me Rashford. Give me Rashford and I will get rid of mine. Of course not. Well, the luck is not on our side. I'm still not convinced. I am still not convinced. If we look at the direct comparison right here, Roque Mesa has more pace. Obviously, Herrera is better at shooting, passing, dribbling, defending. Physical, Mesa is better. Now, the thing is, if we put a chemistry card onto Mesa that improves his shooting, and maybe his defending as well. Um, he will be just as good as Herrera. And I know exactly what I'm getting with this guy. So I have made my decision guys. I will be putting Herrera onto the transfer list right now. Because I don't think that he's worth it. I don't think he's worth it right now. I'm really happy with my team at the moment as it stands. And I think the next thing that I'm going for is maybe inform Zaha. Or maybe and Eriksen. We'll be getting around 17.5k from Ander Herrera. I'm putting him onto the transfer list right now and I'm still thinking about that one position in our team. That one change that I could make. Bakayoko is not going. He's too important for my defending. Dembele it might be him boys. It might be Dembele. I think I think I'm going for Eriksen. I think that's the next step. So Christian Eriksen is currently going for around 100,000 points. And right now, as packs are being opened, I might have a chance to pick up myself an Eriksen for a little bit less 
than usual. So Christian Eriksen, 100,000 coins. Hopefully there will be one that I can pick up for around 95k. That would be quite good. Let's check out the market right here. It doesn't seem like we are finding anything. Oh wow, it actually went up. How does that make sense? Okay, so I managed to snipe Eriksen. Snipe <laughs> for 100,000 coins for whatever reason his price is going up even though people are opening their weekend league rewards Doesn't make any sense to me, but I accept it. So we spent 100,000 coins on Ericsson with a hunter card. Okay All right, I did not expect that we will put him into the camp position Now the question is who do I put onto the bench? Is it Dembele or is it Dele Ali? I think Dembele is crucial for our defending at the moment. You know what? I will give it a try. Okay, we will be putting uh, Eriksen at Cam and uh, Dele Ali at center midfield. Um, even though he might not be the best at going forward, uh, at defending, sorry. I will be putting a chemistry card on him that hopefully ups his uh, defensive stats right here. We'll give him defense plus shooting or defense plus dribbling. I think we give him defense plus passing and that center midfield position passing is a very important statistic. So I think that could be worth it. And of course, in order to test Ericsson, we are going into an online seasons match. It is Chicharito, Welbeck, Lanzini up top. He also has Dele Ali, but uh, Begovic in goal. All right, we'll have a tough one to get past Eriksen in his first match. Can he be as successful as Herrera was in his first one? We'll get to see it right now. Pass it. Valencia, easy. Oh, this guy was hoping that he could tackle in there. First chance for Eriksen was saved. This could end up being a goal for our opponent because I messed up there, committed a little bit too early. Bye. The CPU controlled him. It's a penalty for our opponent. <sighs> I still don't know why I have the blue icon, but this guy will be taking his penalty with Chicharito. Chicharito going down the left. He hits the crossbar. All right, clean sheet. Dele Alli, header, easy, first goal, alright, that was a decent corner kick, I don't know why his defenders were so far away from Dele Alli right there, but we do score one to take the lead, and hopefully Eriksen gets a shot in very soon, because um, I'm getting quite uncomfortable here, 100k, I need something Eriksen. Danny Rose, push forward here, I need Dele Alli to make a run, he's not really making that, and I'm stuck here waiting for that run. Bakayoko, quality tackle. Eriksen now making a run. Dele Ali doesn't pass that ball into him. Eriksen now running through. We could be getting in something nice here. Eriksen. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> he was just falling down everywhere. 45th minute, we scored a second goal. Am I even still recording with the other camera? Yes, I am. Nice job, Johnny. Eriksen, first match, first goal. That's good. Gabriel. Eriksen making his run, perfect run and what a finish, world class finish right there. Um, I think my opponent might have rage quitted because it's all of a sudden lagging very very harsh. Oh yes, here we go, Gabriel Jesus, lob! <laughs> 4-0 against our opponent right here who I start to feel bad for. Uh, first match 5-0, second match 4-0. It could be even higher now if we continue like this. I have paused the game, which I didn't want to do. But this gives us a chance to test out the two other players, which are Baldadial Keita and Bruma. I will just test them as striker. Dele Ali. There goes Dele Ali. Baldadial Keita. Ali. Keita. Fines. Wow. Really good finish. Again, 5-0. Balde Diao Keita coming into the game and scoring in his first match as well. Really happy with that, man. Uh, I believe Eriksen might be the right choice. Online, I might not feel how good he is for me, especially since I'm putting a lot of emphasis onto squad battles. But um, anything else, like um, squad battles itself, it'll be very interesting, man. Bruma, again, getting a chance as well now. 
Ah, I didn't want to do that skill move. Unlucky though. Um, Bruma seems like a very pacey player. So when we do get into squad battles, using him as a substitute will be quality. He can just run past the defense. He has four star skills. So that will be helping us out as well. Deli Ali, man of the match there. Uh, two goals for Eriksen. First match, two goals. That's not too shabby. After all, we have made our investments. We have opened up our packs and Eriksen now will be in the club. Obviously, Dele Ali and uh, Dembele will be switching around quite a lot. But at some point, I will have to make a decision who has to leave our team and who will stay. Obviously, Dele Ali with those statistics, I don't think he leaves. I'm not too sure. We have two defenders in Bakayoko and Mesa. And then we have two attackers in Dele Ali and Eriksen. And the substitute, Balde Diao Keita, really impressed me, man. I'm looking forward to see him play a lot more as a main substitute for that striker position. With his shooting, he can definitely put some behind the net. Now, on squad battles, as you guys might know, currently I am in the top 100, like I mentioned at the start. And uh, you can tell I had a couple of decent games, had a couple of games where I messed up. It just happens every single time. You don't have to play every single game 5-0 in order to get into the top 100. I had loads of games, not loads, but I would say in total so far in how many days now? In four days of the squad battles... I had at least four matches that I completely messed up. I got 2,200 points on one match. On one, I think I got like 2,000. I could have been much higher if I didn't mess up in a couple of games and played very awkwardly. Now, the thing that I noticed for me personally, in order to um, just be focused playing squad battles is don't rush it. Take your time and especially don't play in, at a time in the day where you are tired. I personally am so bad against the CPU when I'm tired, I can't even explain. So for me personally, the time that I have to play squad battles is right after I had breakfast. That is the perfect time. And uh, if you guys wanted some tips and tricks, if I do get top 100, I can then say in my tutorial videos, hey, I'm a top 100 player, I can give you some tips on squad battles. I will go ahead and make some tutorials on it. Let me know if you guys want to see some tutorials on getting top 100 in squad battles or basically some tutorials in order to get past the CPU. I have a couple of tips that are working out just fine for me as you can tell. And hopefully um, I will be coming up with a lot more content to help you guys out with your squad battles runs. But this has been Roto Ronaldo's and that has been a lot of fun. And next time I'll be back with the ultimate, ah, the ultimate episode where we finally get into top 100, hopefully. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. If I miss out on a couple of games, I will be crying. But yeah, hopefully I don't. And yeah, wish me luck. Take care, boys. Have a good one. Peace.